वेलकम एवरीबडी माई नेम इज़ अब्बास एंड आई एम सीनियर आर्किटेक्ट एट एंटरप्राइज डी बी इन दिसंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन एंटरप्राइज डी बी रिलीज एफ टी डब्ल्यू फॉर एच डी एफ एस एट दैट टाइम द एफ टी डब्ल्यू वॉज शोन टू वर्क विद हाइव ऑन टॉप ऑफ हडू टूडे वी विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज एंटरप्राइज डी बीज एच डी एफ एस एफ टी डब्ल्यू विद अपाची स्पार्क ऑन टॉप ऑफ हडूप टू डेमोस्ट्रेट वी नीड द फॉलोइंग सेटअप ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सेंट ऑफ सेन पॉइंट टू ई डी बी पोस्ट क्रेस नाइन डॉट फाइव हडूप टू डॉट सिक्स डॉट फोर स्पार्क टू डॉट वन डॉट जीरो and the hdfs fdw extension i have everything installed on my vm already uh, let's check one by one operating system it's centos 7.2 hadoop is already running let's check hadoop version it's 2.6.4 to check EDB Postgres version. Let's run the EDB PSQL. The server is already running. Select version. It's nine dot five. Now let's check Spark. For that you need to run Spark shell. It takes some time to run, but when it runs, it shows you the version. There you are. Spark version two dot one dot zero. I have downloaded HDFS FTW from Enterprise DB's website. Let's install the FTW. For that, you need to first create a database. Let's call it testing. Now let's connect to this database. Let's create the extension HDFS FTW. Let's create the server. HDFS server. Foreign data wrapper HDFS FTW. Options. Host. It's local host. port 10000 client type hive server 2 note that we are using the same port and client type that is used by hive that's because the spark thrift server and the hive thrift server are compatible with each other server is created now let's create user mapping create user mapping for enterprise db server hdfs s we are and let's create a foreign table let's 
let's name it f underscore names underscore tab with two parameters a integer and name watcher on the server hdfs svr options db name my test db we will create this database shortly table name my names tab we will create this table too So the foreign table is created next we need to change a configuration parameter of spark by default spark uses derby for both metadata and the data itself data in spark is called warehouse in order to have spark use hadoop as warehouse we need to add a property in spark defaults dot xml the file is available here let's check spark defaults dot conf check the last line spark dot sql dot warehouse dot dir is hdfs localhost 9000 user hive warehouse I have asked Spark to use HDFS as the warehouse and I have specified the IP address and the port and the path of the HDFS. Let's check the directory, which directory I am working. This is Spark 2.1 for Hadoop 2.6 and there is a configuration folder in which I have created this spark defaults dot conf file right now let's start the spark thrift server for that we need to do in the sbin folder we need to run start thrift server shell script right it tells that I am using this log file let's check whether this attempt of running spark thrift server was successful or not so it seems nothing went wrong and starting on this port these workers so spark thrift server is now running um, let's check using the b line command line tool to connect this tool with the spark thrift server we will use this command connect jdbc colon hive2 colon double slash localhost colon 10,000 username password and the driver dot hive dot jdbc dot hive driver right So the connection was successful now let's create the database create database my test db
remember we we had created a foreign table with db name my test db and i said that we will create this test my test db shortly here we did create this database right now since we were using um, hadoop as the warehouse we should have a folder created on hadoop with this name let's check for that you need to run a command hadoop fs minus ls slash user slash hive slash warehouse there you see my test db right let's use this database for our next activities now let's create a table create table my names tab a integer and name string row format delimited fields terminated by space create table my names tab a int name string row format delimited fields terminated by space right now again since uh, hadoop was the underlying warehouse we should have a folder inside the database that we had created my test underscore db dot db there you are this is a folder with name of the table that we just created right I have a file uh, names.txt let's check its contents right there are a few rows in it with first element as integer and the second element as string right let's load this file into the table we just created and for that you need to run this command load data local in path slash on names dot txt into table my names tab load data local in path names dot text into table my names tab okay was this load successful let's check select static from my names tab yes it was successful and we can also check whether a file exists in the underlying warehouse yes it does names.txt okay so now the underlying database and table are there and data has been populated in the underlying table we need to stop the thrift server now and start 
the thrift server we're using no sasl minus minus hive conf hive dot server two dot authentication is equal to no sasl So once the third server is started using no SASL, we can issue the select command on the foreign table and it will show you the contents of this table that we just loaded. There you are. These are the contents of the table we had created in Hadoop by running Spark and Spark Thrift Server through Beeline and HDFS FTW was able to read the table using Thrift Server and then Spark and then Hadoop and show it to you on the EDBP SQL prompt. So I hope everything was clear. If it was not you can check the corresponding blog that lists all the steps in detail and it has also a picture that shows the setup thank you everybody for your